Did you know a single bumblebee contains 11 calories? Mmm. Yes, that bee was 100% real. You know what else is real? A lot of cultures diet relies heavily on bugs. It's called entomophagy. And there's a good reason. Insects are considered superfoods. The majority of them are rich in protein, healthy fats, and low in carbohydrates. In fact, crickets carry two to three times more protein than beef. You know what that means? Gains, baby. So it got me thinking, what would it be like to eat bugs on a daily basis? So for the next 50 hours, I'm only eating bugs and insects. Everything I eat has to be insect or bug based. And if I don't hit my daily caloric intake of 2,300 calories, then I have to eat this, a black scorpion. All right, so how this is going to work is we have this game show spinning wheel. We wrote six of the most popular cricket powder recipes on there. And we're going to spin this to decide what we have for each meal. So let's find out what uh, meal number one is going to be. <gasps> Pancakes! I think I'm excited about that because that's like pretty easy. Um, it is breakfast time, so that just makes sense. Let's do it. Cricket cake pancake mix. Those actually look pretty good. What do you think, Brian? Uh, yeah, it looks, yeah. It looks, looks great. That wasn't very convincing. <laughs> it, it smells like some sort of dirt to me. It smells like cat food. It smells a little bit like cat food, yeah. dirt, dust. Yeah. yeah. Looks pretty yeah. good. <laughs> Did you even make pancakes if you didn't pan flip at least one of them? He's got a point. Ooh, pretty good. Boom, cricket freaking pancakes. All right, so the nutritional value, 160 calories per one third of a cup. We did one cup, so multiply that by three. That's nearly 400 calories. Yeah. 500? It smells like dirt. <laughs> so it's me, it smells like pancakes. <laughs> it smells like dirt, dude. Three. Think. Two. One. It's not bad, man. It tastes like pancakes. It tastes like some like wheat hippie Pancake. It's actually pretty good. Though. Very pleasantly surprised. I was really hungry because oh, yeah. I haven't eaten anything except for B today. So this is actually hitting pretty good. Brian, can I interest you in some uh, black ants? <laughs> oh, <f> <laughs> oh, <f> <laughs> oh <laughs> This is gross, dude. <laughs> They're basically unnoticeable. The syrup is too strong. It's not bad. I feel the protein synthesis already. Yeah, if you don't look at it and you eat it, it's fine. But if I start to look down on my plate and see ants, I don't mind it. <laughs> yeah, you ate a bee. <laughs> <laughs> I try to put myself in the mindset that like I'm on a deserted island and there's no food or anything So like I would be happy to see a pile of edible ants. It's a life hack. Feel free to use it I'm gonna be eating bugs for the next 50 hours So I had to check my baseline body composition so we can see if there's any changes Here your water your muscle mass and your body fat which gives you your weight there okay? My it looks like my left arm is a little bigger than my right arm which it really doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> uh, legs are pretty even, that's awesome. They're both very small, so that's good. <laughs> All right, so I stand corrected. My BMR is actually 2130, so I have to eat 2130 calories in bugs in the next 50 hours. So to make this easier for ourselves, we're just gonna combine the two days. So the total goal is to reach 4,260 calories by the end of the second day. So I got a stomach full of ants and uh, cricket powder. So we gotta test out a workout. So why not do the hardest CrossFit workout possible, Murph, M-U-R-P-H. What that consists of is one mile run immediately followed by 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, and then 300 air squats. And then you're not done, one more mile run. It's a timed event. They do it at the CrossFit games and it's very, very difficult. Three, two, one, go. The first mile was going pretty easy, but then there was a problem. So while I was running, Brian was supposed to set up the drone and get some sick drone shots, but apparently this is a no-fly zone. I'm just gonna hire somebody to do some sick overhead drone animation or something, so check that out. Pretty bricked up right now. Not like that. Like I got a brick in my stomach. It's a hundred free bucks. <laughs> Crazy pump going on. It's insect games, baby. What's like a bug that has a good pump? This is that caterpillar pump, baby. <laughs> ah, it was way harder than I remember it being. Sucks. 
Last 100. Oh my god. I feel like the skin in my lungs are coming out of my throat. I don't know if that even makes sense, but let's go. The second mile wasn't going quite as well as the first. <sighs> it sucks so bad. Bugs of the world, bug of gods. Please give me the power. Finish this race. The strength of a thousand insects. That was stupid, but you get what I'm saying. <sighs> 621. It's like 49 minutes. That sucks. I need more, some, uh, I need more crickets, bro. <laughs> I don't even want to think about no damn crickets. Cricket soup? That's, that's disgusting. I have a horrible headache. But I'm happy that's over. Alright, time to see what's for lunch. Honestly, nothing sounds good to me. I'd rather starve right now than eat anything. For you guys, let's find out what's for lunch. Alright. Pasta it is. Grasshopper pasta. So there's nothing like a little post-workout meal like freaking grasshopper pasta, am I right? But this is legit and that rhymed unintentionally this is 180 calories per serving i'm gonna have three servings so if you do the math what is that like 540 calories so we're getting closer to our goal but still a long way to go 25 grams of protein per serving so do the math that's 75 grams of protein in grasshopper pasta it smells like hay like horse hay that you would feed i grew up on a farm so this is like a very familiar smell to me All right, let me introduce my girlfriend, Chloe, AKA camera man number two. Yes, I have a full roster, which I switch out. It's very complex, but we have some grasshopper pasta. She's gonna try it out with me. What do you think, are you excited? I'm nervous. Can I put some Parmesan on mine? I'll allow it. All right, well you do that, I'm gonna do my Topping of choice, black ants. I do some of my pancakes, they're actually not bad here. Oh, get your ant on your what do you think? It's not so bad, huh? You look like you're enjoying it. Yeah, I think it's the parmesan. <laughs> you know, it's really not that bad. It's really not. Yeah, I don't know. It's freaking me out though. I just have to think about it. But it's like the mushy like larva and stuff that grosses me out. That's the kind of bug I don't want to eat. Like, I, I don't mind like the pureed crickets and grasshoppers and stuff because I barely even know what's there. Still getting the gains. The texture's a little weird. So spongy. Like papery or something. For the last meal of the day, I decided to let you guys decide. So I asked Instagram and 40% decided I was gonna eat bug brownies. What? Oh, hey, didn't see you there. As you can see, we're in my room now. That's what we call a setting change. It's supposed to keep you guys engaged. Did it work? Anyways, we got some cricket brownies, courtesy of you guys, actually. You guys wanted this for dinner. I don't know why, you kind of did me dirty, if I'm being honest. It smells good, man, not gonna lie. Very dry, spongy, not very moist, but you know what? Pretty good, <laughs> not too bad. Number five, babe, how is it? Good. No, give them like a negative reaction. They, they love drama. <laughs> That's better, they'll love that. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this whole pan, even though I'm not really that hungry. So she probably won. By the end of the day, I had only consumed 1,750 calories, which is 400 below my base level. And my body and mind was letting me know that. Good morning, party people. It's officially morning of day two. We're in a bit of a bind, I'm not gonna lie. Got a ton of freaking calories to catch up on, like over 2,000, and I really, really don't wanna eat that scorpion. But we're starting today strong. We got a cricket omelet cooking up, an epic cricket omelet. So yeah, gonna whip that up. It really smells bad. Yeah, I'll see you when it's done. All right, I got my epic cricket omelet. It includes all of this stuff and it is a total of 240 calories. Looks pretty good. Uh, 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 a little cakey, a little dry. Are those little cricket chunks? No way. There's a bunch of those little brown spots. Gonna eat this? Go to the gym, baby. Then like every other day, I went to the gym. Probably not the best idea after doing a Murph the day before and I was definitely feeling the effects. I could barely even get up 185 on the incline bench press, which I can usually do easily. So I just ended up walking on the treadmill to feel like I actually did something. Just finished day two workout. Honestly, it sucked. We gotta continue 
Anyways, so I got this cricket protein bar. We got nine grams of protein, 180 calories. I'm gonna eat two of these. I got one in the back too. Check it out. It looks pretty good actually. Let's find out. It's not bad at all. Like it's actually pretty good. Don't eat me. You guys hear something? That was weird. Anyway. So I ate, I ate, and I ate some more, and next thing I knew, it was an hour before the deadline, and I was still 500 calories short of my baseline, so I had to take drastic measures. All right, guys, so it is the end of day two. We have one hour left. I'm full of bugs, but we still have like 600 calories left. So what do you do? If you're bodybuilding, you're trying to get calories in, calorie, protein, bug, shake. <laughs> yeah, boy. So that's what we're doing. One last Hail Mary toss. Let's go, baby. We got the milk, a lot of calories in there. Not really, like 50. But then the main ingredients, cricket shake, 350 calories per cup. Cricket brownie, 150 calories. Bug protein bar, 180 calories. Mexican spicy larva. This is only like 10 calories, but you know what? You guys like to see me suffer, so. Oh, that smells so bad. Whatever. Black ants, literally hardly any calories. All right, that's it. <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing this for you guys. 690 calories, let's go. It's like steamy. <laughs> ah, woo! 690 calories. We did it, guys. So that brings the total to three, 4,360 calories. So technically, I don't have to eat the scorpion, but I know you guys want to see it anyway. So it kind of broke apart, but. You got this. Oh, 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 I completed the challenge, but I still want to know what effect it had on like my body composition. So I'm still going to go check that and get scanned again. So uh, let's go do that. Wow, my body fat went up. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so just got my 50 hour results back and I am actually shocked. I went up 0.8% body fat. <laughs> Given that we take this test as accurate, I went up 0.2 pounds. I went from 194.2 to 194.4. But yeah, I'm a bit shocked, guys. That's crazy. I honestly was looking in the mirror. I thought I looked like leaner. I thought I would come in here and be less, but I guess I uh, put on body fat, which is crazy. I didn't understand. How could it be possible that I gained body fat? It just didn't make sense. But then I realized something. When combining all these ingredients to make the insects at least a little bit edible, there's a lot of nutrients hiding in plain sight. 20 grams of fat here, 40 grams of fat there, and next thing you know, you're up a pound and a half of body fat. So no, I don't think I'll be adopting this new insect diet, but I'm glad I tried it. Let me know down below, would you guys be down to try the insect diet? Thanks for watching, and until next time, good bug. <clears throat> I mean, goodbye. <laughs>